how's it going? Let's play some Under Rail. Now, I haven't done the best in the junkyard, and I've probably missed <laughs> some key locations, finding the answer to, oh, Elwood or uh, Colmire's Knife or whatever. Those might be things I need to do. And I'm potentially will have to go back and take care of them, but I am going to just try to see if I can trailblaze on my own and produce some any some kind of way to get this drill without uh, doing stuff that I'm not good at, like doing conversation dialogues with Elwood. So let's see what's going on up here, or committing like just open murder, even if it's in the name of Southgate Station, right? So, I'm gonna I'm gonna stealth up, and I'm going to look around these tunnels, see what there is. Let me just check out my map. I've been here, obviously. See, here's a mine shroom. Now I don't know if that's new. These there's bad guys here that I recall, but let me see. Can I just pick this? I mean, it must have just grown. There's no way I would leave one of these lying around. Although, it's been known to happen. I, I play quite badly sometimes. Is this where the guy got shot? Um, and was, like, bleeding out or whatever? Or is this is this a place that's filled with a bunch of really sinister folk? We'll find out. Let's look around here. Let's look down under this side. Yeah, okay, there's a baddie. Okay, and then I'm just going to go over here. I'm just going to push enter, start the combat up, and just, I don't know, throw a fireball down. Like right there. It looks like I have a 73% chance to hit that. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but I clicked throw fireball, and then my character just walked in. So that's exactly the opposite of what I was trying to do. See, normally when you click fireball and a location, you're trying to throw it at range. So let's see if I can actually throw it at range, or if it's going to... Um, yeah, and see, it's like I don't have enough action points if I start the combat on my own right there. So let me then step away, and then just end combat, and then let this cool down so I can try it again. Sometimes it's really hard to get the drop on people. Alright, so now let me see, I'm stealthing, and, oh, 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 yeah, premeditation. Let's do this. And then it says, the, ne the next psi ability by 50%. All right, so, okay, wait a minute. I gotta, I gotta leave. I didn't realize how that worked. I thought you kind of set it and then used it, um, and it would store it up, but no, it's got a time limit. So does this have, all right, all right, here we go. Let's just do it like this then. All right, so now I have enough time to throw the fireball. So, um, What I can do is I can use this on um, this fireball and make it free. Okay, and so then um, they, they've both been severely injured. And from here, I can just cryokinesis and probably kill this guy. Or almost, right? And then... Let's do it again. Now that thug has been eliminated. And I can just step out and end the turn. Now I'm going to get hurt pretty badly here. It looks like I've, I'm stunned. Alright. Okay. So, I can't do anything except for get killed, I guess. Alright. So... 
<laughs> after all of that, the other guy just had an ability to completely take me out and stun me. So, let me think about this. What's the best way? Maybe I should go in and just frighten that guy. If he's going to be like the the problem person for this encounter. Alright, so I'll just stop. Now, frighten normally costs a little bit, but not too much. So let me see if I can get this guy. Alright, he's terrified. And then let's just uh, end the combat. And they didn't know where I was. So this guy's running away. Now this guy sees me. But we're going to try to make it too late for him. So let me uh, do a premeditation on telekinetic punch. He resisted, unfortunately. But it looks like I can just probably cryokinesis him down. Because premeditation is just so insane that it... What are you, what are you doing? Oh, I'm out of side points. Okay, I get it. Gosh. I really don't... Yeah. I just have to get used to the fact that the game, if you are... Um, if you're low... Like I was low... Bah! That botched everything. That walking toward the guy like that. That just completely wrecked me. Um, I have to do it again. If if you don't have enough points to do something, the game will just like have you do something else when you click instead of saying you don't have enough points. Um, and I understand it's just a me problem, so I have to reload it because I can't waste those points. I could have used a side booster and then shot the guy and finished him. It just didn't end up that way. All right, so let's try this again, and let's give this man frighten. All right, so he's afraid. And then I'll walk back here and just end the turn. And then somebody should come out to investigate. Well, we can't see them. Well, the good thing is, though, it looks like premeditation is back online. Oh, no, I never used it. So uh, let's see. Let me get this going and then try to stun this guy. Okay, we got him, actually, this time, which is very, very nice. And so he's stunned. Which means we can just cryo him. And then I'm going to go to my consumables, use my booster, and then just step around the corner here. And hopefully she can't shoot me right yet. Yeah, she moved into range to do that. But it's going to take her a second. Now... From here, the question is, can I just take her down with what I have? I don't know. It might get close. How many action points do I have left? Ten. Yeah, so that's not really enough to do much. Um, and now this guy is awake. So I probably should have gone over to just kill this guy uh, instead of what I did. I'm going to run away. Maybe she'll heal instead of just shoot me. Yes, yeah, she did. So she tried to heal. Um, and then she was able to get a bunch of hits on me. Okay, so this guy's back in the action. He's very proud. And he's also healed up. So this is what makes everything such a treat is that they have items to heal themselves with. Um, so, now I've been kneecapped, which means what? And I get no movement points. Okay, so I'm kind of stuck in one place, which is a bummer. Um, yeah, I think I played this wrong. I think I needed to kill this guy and not worry about this person. So what's, I'm just going to load it. I have to do this battle perfectly for me to be able to clear it, so I apologize. This is just me learning on the job, trying to figure out the best way to handle this. There's probably much better ways of doing it than what I'm doing, but um, here I am. So this guy, let's try to, or this woman, I should say, or man, I don't know. Uh, thug. Let's do that and then move here. 
and then just wait. And then here comes both of them. Okay. So in this spot, let me see if I can stun um, this one with telekinetic punch. And the reason I want to do that is because this guy is melee. So there's the possibility um, that I can cryo this person so badly that um, they can't quite follow me. They heal, and then they're on me, and then they cripple me. Second wind heals them. Yeah. All right, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it, but I'm going to try. Strength decreased by four. Well, so what? Why don't I have enough action points? What, it takes my action points? This is malarkey. All right, let me try this again. So if they both add, then I'm probably in bad shape. I wonder if I can just um, come over here and then frighten you, right? And then move very far away. Instead, take a turn, and then here they come. And they get the kneecap shot right off the bat. But that's okay, because what I'm going to do is, um... Just toss a grenade in, like this. See how this does? Alright, I hit myself. That's terrific. It's a lot of fun when you have 20 skill in a grenade. And I'm not saying, like, you know, that's very... Actually, what is my skill in throwing? So I have a, yeah, 21 throwing skill. I'm not saying that's great, but I'm saying I'm a person who's completely untrained with grenades and I wouldn't drop it at my feet. This person is actually trained and they couldn't throw it three feet. I'm not saying you have to be precise, but I'm saying don't hit yourself with it. So let's see what happens. Let's clip here. All right, you're afraid. And let's try to go down this way. Maybe this is a better path for me. Okay, at least in this scenario, they both can't see me. So I have one round um, to try and take this person down. Now, I'm doing telekinetic punch. Um, simply <laughs> with the dream that... they wouldn't have enough they wouldn't resist unfortunately they did oh my gosh what did i leave you with like two hit points yeah that's a shame and that's gonna that's gonna determine basically whether or not i can win okay so let's go ahead and use everything on this person just try to get them down and run away Sweet fancy Moses, again, this thug. Now they have zero hit points, it appears, and they've made it. Um, so this takes, what, how many action points does this take? 18 and I have 10? All right, well, they can't heal again, I don't think. Please don't heal again. Okay, look, it looks like they can't. So then, now what I can do in this spot is finally finish one of them off. And then, uh, I can zap you with this and run around the corner, go to hell. Well, yeah, pretty much, right? But, um, kneecap, they missed. Okay, so this is very, very lucky. Uh, I need to hit them with this. She'll probably heal. I can't take them out. 
Unless I get some kind of crit right here. I didn't. Uh, so I have to run away because I need... I don't have enough side points. Alright, I'll stealth and go over here and just wait. Alright, they couldn't see me right off the bat, but now they see me. And here's the thug. And so we're going to um, use premeditation, and now we can use any of our abilities. And so let's just do this because it's the most expensive and then um of course i hit myself i mean of course it just has to i mean that was an 82 percent that it wouldn't hit me and it hit me but anyway maybe we can actually take them down uh that's a big no no we don't okay now we do Maybe. A year from now. <laughs> okay. Um, now, I wonder if I can end combat. I wonder if that other person will ever know where I am. I, yeah, it ended combat. Okay, so perfect. So now I can just kind of restore myself without the... And just take the other person one-on-one. -on -one. Let me use my bandage. Well, that was an exercise in hilarity, but we did finally win. All right, so let's get back over here and see what the deal is going to be with this remaining person that I terrified. I'll stealth over and just see if I can take them down. All right, so they clearly, well, they haven't seen me yet, but what I can do is I can premeditate telekinetic punch and then put some other stuff on them, I guess. I don't know. Telekinetic punch costs, what, 60 psi? Yeah, it's a great one to use uh, premeditation on because it reduces it to 50%. But then again, maybe you want to do it in in the actual turn so that you get the full advantage of the action points. Because what I have 50 action points right now. And if I take this down to um, zero, then I'll have 50, which means I can use this exactly twice. But see, as is, I could use premedit I could use cryo cryo telekinetic punch all on its own without doing premeditation but it'll take 18 I'm sorry it'll take um, 36 plus 60 is 90 and I have 100 so that would be basically all of my psi if I did it that way I'm just trying to see if there's another way to, like, get... I could also frighten them if telekinetic punch didn't work. All right, so anyway, I'll just do that. I'll premeditate, and I will telekinetic punch this person in the face. And they, they're stunned. Okay, so I think we just automatically win in this spot because we can just cryo them down, and then next turn... Um, they're not going to be able to do anything? Is that right? Alright, so they got a second wind, and so they're alive, but um, this will almost kill them. And then we, we have another one, so it's over. Terrific. Um, so we can just end combat. Um, and I'm going to save it. And now these thugs are all cleaned out over here. This thug had a health hypo, which we'll take. Um, some coins. Uh, this sells okay, but it's very heavy. This sells tremendously well. Not bad. Um, Alright. And then... 
Let's see, what's on these shelves here? Hey, there's a, a marked card deck and some foam padding. So we'll take all of that. We get an oddity, which is fantastic. And let's just check these other bodies out. All right, well, we'll take the money. Um, whoa, whoa, look at these. Pneumatic rat hound leather gloves. And they're worth a lot. So we'll take those just, just for selling. We'll take it all. Then take this. Uh, your gun is worth a good bit. And... Uh, okay. All right. Well, that made us a bunch of money. I don't know if it was necessarily a good thing to do. They were thugs. Um, but they're gone now. And then let's just see if there's anything behind this little base. And there is not. So it wasn't... You know... Maybe it's like for a quest or something later. I don't know what the purpose of it was. Other than... Like these people are camped out here, but they're not camped out there anymore. So let me uh, check the map. And um, I am here. And there's an entrance to another portion of this amusement over here. But before I do that, let me take a look at some things. So in my crafting panel, if I wanted to make... I need another Psy Booster. I need um, unsaturated psionic catalysts. And so uh, I need to make those by processing plants or fungus. And I've got plenty of that stuff. So let's go to the crafting window. And let's just process all of these. And use all of these. And create and create. All right. And so now we have three of those. And so honestly, I could make one booster. It's pretty rough. But if I look at myself, I have um, five inhalants and no boosters. So I honestly need the booster more. So I'll just make myself a booster. Um, okay. Pretty good. My buddy Jean-Luc was saying basically hold on to all Psy Beetle Carapaces that I get. Especially high quality ones. This one is not high quality. Um, this one is only slightly higher, but they're good for crafting. So I will keep them. Now, I think what I want to do... You know, I was in this mindset of I'm going to go ahead and explore and see if I can find uh, a way into the depot or the junkyard on my own without doing any of the bad stuff that these people want me to do. But what did I just discover? Um, Jean-Luc says that you can actually do the Silas quest... that I was kind of like not excited about doing if um, you just pay for the person's money that they owe and so I can totally do that because honestly I actually have a reasonable amount of money so let me look around here mm -hmm. and then let me just go over here and I'll go talk to Silas. But in the meantime, let me trade with some of these people. Uh, like, Johan. Show me what you got. He wants metal components, armor parts, and batteries. Uh, okay. So, I don't really know how much of that stuff I have. It doesn't look like anything except for my Psy Beetle Carapaces. So then, let's just see. What are you interested in? 
belts, leathers, leather armor, bags of caltrops, and regular bolts. Right, right, right. Um, I do have this. He'll take that. Um, how many throwing knives do I have? I have some. I mean... God, I could always use more, right? Or he'll give me six Stygian coins. It's not the best. What is this fishing rod? Do I need that? Bear trap. Serrated bolt. Throwing knives. I already know it. Um... about like how much for this all right that's good I'll do that okay now let me go talk to this guy because um, he's the weapons trader you should hit the depot at the docks um, where's the depot just to the west Jack look for the slacker called Gort he might have what you need show me what you got all right I'll go look for Gort or is Gort the one that wants me to kill that guy? Um, firearm parts. Two firearms. Ooh, he's like restored what he's going to buy. Great. Um, so let me go to crafting first. Or, I'm sorry. Uh, well, he'll always do that, right? But anyway. What are my most valuable firearms? These two sell for a whole bunch. Uh, but he doesn't want to buy that. He will buy, however. Um, that. And he'll also buy that. Those both sell really well. And in terms of what he has on him that I might want, I mean, this, like, ridiculous armor is pretty sweet, but I don't think I'll ever be able to wear it. This is good. It's very expensive. Um, Alright, anyway. Uh, what would you give me for this in Stygian coins? 162? That's fine. I'll just take whatever money you have. So now he's looking for... Ammo, right? I'll basically sell you all the stuff I have here. Eh, he'll buy those, but not very well. He will buy this. And then auto. Alright. Fantastic. Okay. So let me just go try to refresh my memory on where Silas is. No, no, no. Not this one. No, Eddie's the guy that is the nightmare. I want Gord. So let's look for Gord. I'm going to save it. Scrapper Gangster. Um, I'm looking for a a real gem named Gort. Are you Gort? Are you in here? Yeah, Gort. Um, what's the old junkyard? Depot A. It's right through that gate over there in the back. Um. Can I go and look for a part I need? I doubt it. You could ask Eddie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me what you got. You got the... 
You got the thing I need. Alright, well, he is looking for crossbow parts. Firearm parts, grenades, suits. Okay. You don't by any chance have the circuit board, though, do you? No. It doesn't look like it. Um, that's a shame. He does have these better lock picks, though. So I like those. I'm always looking for stuff like that. So let's give him the hurricane. And then see how we're doing. It's pretty good. I'll do that. I'll take your nice lock picks. And then let me just put the good lock picks on display here. And then I can open up um, 44 on lock picking. Um, here, let me ask him. Uh, let's see. What do you do with all the junk? We sell it, of course. Some of it I sell to jacks like yourself, but most of it gets shipped to the foundry, core city. Some goes to the protectorate, and so on. It's how we make our living. Um, all right. Who's Eddie? He's the big boss. He runs this place. Catch you later. Okay, well... He didn't have the drill thing. Let me go see if... I want to speak with... The real nice folk... Uh, no. Oh, wait, junk pile. What is this? No, that's not it. I was wondering if, like, there was the secret, secret passage or anything I could find. The dog's down here. Oh, look, here we go. Climb over the fence. This might do it. Let me just save it. I don't think I have the agility to do it. No, 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 no. Wait, where are you going that way? That's not what I meant. Oh, no. Unable to perform action. Yeah, I bet you are. Yeah, okay. So I can't get in the secret way because um, I can't climb over the fence. Because it needs agility 7, and I have agility 5 enhanced to 6. Close, though. Very close. I wonder if there's like a food or some kind of booster I could use to get me there. Anywho, let me go down here. And... Where am I? No, no, no. I need to go to the docks. Oh, no, no. Um. Nah, I think I did sneak in there and there was just nothing. Nothing doing. Just empty dreams. I mean, dogs, security cameras, it's, it's no joke in there. All right, let's go down here. Is this Silas? I'm having a hard time remembering. There we go. Doc Master Silas. Um, what do you need done? There's a guy that owes a hefty amount of coins, and not only that, but he's laid on protection money. I don't think he's got it, though, but shake him down. All right. Um, yeah, see, this is what I need, is the wormhole. So if I do help him, then I can get to where I need to go without doing any of the other stuff. So this is the best. Um, besides this, how many more favors 
before I get to the wormhole. Just one more after this. So you in? I'm in. Excellent. The guy's name's Grover. He lives in the shack just north of the tavern right next to Len's shop. Get him to pay you 100 charons he owes me or something of equal value. If you can't pay up, bring me his head. Oh my god. Um, alright, well. I don't really want to bring a, a human head to anybody. But I know what he's talking about. I was just at Len's shop. Okay. Oops. Oh boy. That's not what I meant to do. Sometimes you push the wrong buttons and it all goes haywire. Alright. Let me go over here. This is Len's shop. And then, so that means he must live in one of these houses. Grover, where are you? Can I see you in here? Here he is. All right. Well, everybody, we're going to get into this conversation with Grover, but we're going to do it in the next episode. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I now have a path to take to actually progress the game, so I'm excited about that. And so I will do that uh, very soon. Oh, wait a minute. Before I do, what is this? Where does this take me? Does this take me to get the guy's knife? Was this the way he was talking about? Oh, look at this. This might be the way I need to go to get Korkheimer's knife, Kohlheimer's knife. And I just wasn't seeing it. Um, so here I am. I'm gonna put a note on this. Um, just to remind myself next time I play. Uh, Kohlheimer's knife question mark great and then now I can look at this this is what I've been looking for walking around like a fool and it was right there in front of me I, I just needed to go closer to that shack to see how I could slip between the houses so this might be the right place it might not but I think this might be it all right everybody so we will get into this next time I hope you have an excellent evening or day take care <laughs>